She expects us for lunch at one o'clock. She is she is expecting a letter this month. Right. That's an interesting one. I expect to write on the blackboard. Singular. I. She expects us. She ex because us, she expects us is plural. I expect. She expects. She's expecting a letter this morning. Okay? So expect is singular, expects is plural, and expecting is, uh, ha is, is future tense. Hasn't happened yet. She's expecting. Okay? Is there any questions? If you have any questions, raise your hand and ask me, please. Okay? I'm sorry? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm expecting to be here tomorrow. Okay. Um, um, I'm expecting to be here tomorrow. I expect I'll do some work when I get here. Could you do the next one, please? Discuss. Discuss. Will it be convenient for you to discuss your plans? Did you discuss your plans with him? They are discussing their plans with us now. Good. There, there, plural, discussing their plans, plural. Plans, S, right? Did you discuss your plans? Discuss your plan. And will it be convenient for you to discuss your plans? Convenient. Do we know what the word convenient means? Uh, it's easy to do something convenient. Yeah, easy. It's easy. It's easy. Okay? Would you do the next one, please? Yes, yes. Number four. Five. Five. Spend. I am, I am hoping to spend a few days in the highlands. He spends his summer in the highlands. I spent three days in the Highlands. Right. Okay, good. I'm hoping to spend future. He spends action that's been taking place. And I spent. I already did the action. Is past tense. Let's now. I want to just go ahead here. Let's go to page seven. Okay? And let's do some reading practice. Okay? So would you start with making plans? And making plans, there's a January day next week, and it can be something to do. I have a lot of work to do at home. And this would be a good chance to do it. But I rather not spend every day in that way. Okay. I can look at home on the list of the day. Right. So there's a bank holiday next week. Do, do we understand what she's saying here? Yeah. What 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 she's saying here? saying that there's a holiday and I can't decide what to do. I don't know what to do. I have a lot of work to do at home and this would be a good chance to do it. But I would rather not spend a holiday in that way, working. I can work at home the rest of the year. Okay? 
that's important that we understand what we read. Okay? <clears throat> so, I have a holiday. I don't want to work. I could, but I don't want to. Because I can do that the rest of the year. I want to enjoy the holiday, is what they're saying there. Okay? Last year, I went up north to the red district. Everything was beautiful, but it is too cold at this time of year. And it's really too far to go to for a uh, holiday. I have decided that this is not a good time to go up north, but I do want to go somewhere. So she's trying to decide She's trying to decide what to do to celebrate the holiday because she's not going to work, right? Yeah. Does that make sense to you all? Do you understand what she's saying there? Okay. Would you read the next one, please? Perhaps. Perhaps this would be a good chance to go to this And the answer 
Where do you think the answer is? Let's see, I went up. It's not to the left this time. It was too cold. Mm -hmm. Right? Very good. No, that's good. That's why I did. Why I decided not to go to the Lake District this year. Everything, but it's too cold this time of the year. Okay? Very good. Would you please read number three for me? What do I like about the seaside? So, what does she like about the seaside? The lake, for the lake district, she was thinking of going to cross next week. She likes to go for walks on the beach, right? That's what, that's what she said. Would you please read number four? How far is this to the rock district? How far is this to the south coast? Right. So, how far is it to the south coast? Uh, 300 miles. It's, that, that's very good. That's to the Lake District. And how far is it to the south coast? I don't know. Yes, you do. You're doing fine. I can't answer. It's, uh, it's only... It's only it's only about forty miles. Right. So there's a lot of information in this little paragraph, right? Yeah. Okay. Would you please read number five? In which direction is the lake visiting? Right. The answer is in the first sentence of the second paragraph. Last year, last year, second paragraph, first sentence. Last year I went up north to the Lake District. See that? Right in the beginning. See it? Second paragraph. The, the, second paragraph down. Last year. Last year. Uh, last year. Yeah, see? I went up north to the lake. You, you see that? Last year. Everything was beautiful, but it is too old. That's it. That's it. This time of year. And I really too far to go for a right. holiday. So, okay. So it's important for us to read, but we also have to try to absorb what we're reading. Remember it. Okay? Let's look at the next question. Would you please read number um, six? How long does it take me to get to the sea? How long do you think it would take me to get to the lake? Right. Um, to the sea. Everything went beautiful. So, the get to the sea. Exactly. How long? Remember, we were talking about long time. How much time? Right? And, and the other one? That's right.
300 miles away, right? And so um, that's um, now. Let's just see here because um, and I like to be to them. Would you read the next question, please? <coughs> Number seven. Can I go to that head, go to the rest, or to the seaside? Right. Yeah, seaside, seaside. Right. Right. Seaside, that's all. Yes. Um, um, she thinks it's a better time to go to the seaside. All right, let's go to page eight. And let's talk about, let me just see something. Making plans, conversation, and this can kind of go like what I was talk talking about before, going to New York. So would you read the first one? Two East Park. Mary. Mary and Tim. Yeah. Two East Park. So this is the first one. Yeah. Yes. Start. Plans for you for our holiday. Right. Plans for our holiday. R is always plural. More than one. Go ahead. But maybe my holiday is Eastern. Confused. Do July. That's is not for. Okay, that's fine. Let's start making plans for our holiday, but Mary, my holiday, my is singular. My holiday is until July, and that's for another six months, so go ahead, please. And six months is not very long time. Before you know, July will be here. And we won't be prepared. <laughs> right. All right. Where would you like to go? At six months is not a very long time. Before you know it, Joanne will be here and we won't be prepared. So that's what Mary's saying. Jim is saying, all right, well, where would you like to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Perhaps we ought to go to a problem. Agency and get some long bottle brochure. Brochure. Good. Brochure. Yes. Brochure. That is the idea. I'll get some in June. Good. Go ahead. So we can. What is brochure? Jeffrey. Yeah. What are you what what are you plan for the week in the room? Doug. 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 Yeah. Uh, the office is having an outing to with with uh, Good. I have decided to go. So going back to when I was talking about New York, what are your plans? Remember where, what, when and how? What are your plans for the weekend, Doug? Uh, the office is having out in Windsor. I've decided, I've decided to go, okay? Made up it's mine. Decide. Okay, my friend. Please read the next two. Yes. That's a good idea. Where's the thing you come with me? You know, 
um, last month, very one in my office, and we can be perfect. You know, almost. Almost. Go, almost. Almost. Okay. And again, if you're having a hard time pronouncing it, break it down. All, most, right? Yes. Almost. Almost. Do you know what almost means? Yes. It means close, but not there. Almost. Very good. Okay. Please. Yes. Yes. That is a long way to go just for the weekend. Yes, I know, but I'm getting married and I out. Okay. Um, I'm it, to be there. Actually, it's the one just above that. Uh, it's uh, right there. Here. Here. Okay. okay. <coughs> Thanks, Doug. Doug. Yeah. Thanks, Doug. But I'm going to. Good. For the weekend. That is a long way to go, just for the weekend. Yes, I know, but I'm getting married and I ought to be there. If you're getting married, you ought to be there. Mm -hmm. That's, that was good. Um, when you look at uh, another example of breaking the word down, Edinburgh. Right? E.T. Ed in her. See how it makes it, e makes it easier? Edinburgh. Petra. It's in Scotland. That's what makes it easier when you, by breaking the, the word down. Okay? Um, now, participation drills. <coughs> Uh, I don't know if we need to do that. Um, how about um, we go to page 10? Okay, these, these are exercises. And um, so, answer the question below, Be beginning each answer with the word group listed below as shown in the examples. Make any other necessary changes in the sentence. I don't know, I'm not sure. For example, what are you, what are you going to do tomorrow? You could ask me, what are you going to do tomorrow? And I'll say, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I haven't decided. And then, I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. Okay? So now, let's start with uh, asking, I'm going to ask you the question, where are you going this evening? And I don't know where I'm going this evening. Good. Or you might say, I'm not I'm sure. Not sure. Uh, I am not sure I am going this evening. I, I'm not sure where I am going this evening, okay? <coughs> Go ahead, you can do the next one. B. Please. What is he trying to do? I don't know. He Doing. I don't know. I don't know what I mean, he's trying to what, do. What he try, try to do? Right. Trying. Trying to right. do. Right. Uh, and I'm not sure he trying to do. 
I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Trying to do. Yes, good. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Go ahead. What time is your brother leaving? I don't know. He's my brother Right. I don't know what to my brother is leaving. And then the other one? I don't know and I I don't know. what time is my brother leaving? And I'm I am not sure. I'm not sure what time is my brother leaving. I'm not sure the is would be left out. It would be, I'm not sure what time my brother is leaving. I'm not sure. Very good. Okay. Next one. When is he going home? 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 No, it would be like this. Bert, that's very good. What to, when is he going to When? So you're going to use that with the one you, the one sentence you just read. What? No. What? No. I don't know when he's going home. Good. And then the other one, the other question would be, when is he going home? And I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure when he's going. Because these, these are questions that you're going to get in English all the time. For example, I would say to you, if you were with me in New York and we're going to the Empire State Building, I might say to you, what time are we going to the Empire State Building? And your answer would, could be, I don't know what time we're going to the Empire State Building. Or I'm not sure what time we're going. Okay. Right? That's how we incorporate. Could you please read E? Who is going to go home with you? I don't know. I am not sure. Who is going to go home with you? I'm not sure who's going with me. I don't know who's going with me. Right. I don't know who's going with me. Who's going with you? I don't know who's going with me. Great. Who's coming with you to the lot tomorrow? I'm not sure who's coming with me. Okay? Pia, would you do the next one, please? Number F. When will it be convenient for you to see me? I don't know. When? When it be convenient for me, for me. Right. I don't know when it will be convenient for me. And the other would be, I'm not sure. Exactly. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know when it would be convenient. I can't answer the question right now. Yeah. Okay. Please. How many days are you going to spend in the Thailand? Uh, I am not sure how many. Days I. Good. And the other one? Uh, I don't know. Right. How many? How many? Uh, I am going to spend in the. Time. Exactly. So this is any you know asking a question in English and responding. I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay. Okay, my friend. Why is this different? Uh, why is this difficult for him to make a decision? Decision. Decision. Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure. Go ahead. You're, doing, you're right on it. You're oh. right there. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It is difficult. For him to make a decision. I, I'm not sure why it is difficult. Why? Very good. Yep. 
Why is it difficult for him to make a decision? I'm not sure why it's difficult for him to make a decision. Okay? Yeah. Why is it difficult to, for him to make a decision? I don't know why it's difficult for him to make a decision. Okay? And I think that we're going to stop there. And tomorrow we'll start again with section two. Is that all right with you, yeah. Paul? We're going to learn to speak good English. You're doing very well. We're going to keep moving ahead.